Katie, Parliament is back after a two-week break. What can we expect in the House of Commons? Well, the first order of business is going to be debating the budget. And I know it might seem like it was tabled eons ago, but MPs have, of course, been on uh, constituency break since Easter. So they're about to get their first chance to really discuss the details in the House of Commons. That's going to start on Monday and will continue until uh, Thursday at the, at the earliest. At some point after that, there will be a vote and there will eventually be budget legislation. But I think what we're going to see for the next week is really a very staunch debate over the, uh, the big picture budget. And uh, the budget went off the rails a bit this week. Tell me about that. Yeah, I suspect this will come up in the House as well. Uh, the Parliamentary Budget Office has uh, suggested that the government did not present the budget information in the most transparent way possible for parliamentarians to do their job, which is to analyze those numbers. And also, there seems to be some dispute over some information that may or may not have been provided and should have been. It's all, it's all a big kerfuffle, and while it, uh, it might be addressed soon, I think that there will be a lot of MPs rightly asking exactly how committed is this government to transparency on the fiscal front. And what about the Senate? Well, the Senate is going to welcome its first seven independent senators uh, this week. That will happen on Tuesday. Among them is Peter Harder. He's the, uh, the the senator that's been tapped to serve as the government representative in the Senate, which is a newly created role, uh, and it's designed to kind of fill the gap since there's no government leader in the Senate, as there's no government party in the Senate. So we're going to kind of see how that works out. Uh, the Senate's also going to begin its investigation into the leak of the Auditor General's expense report last summer, which has been delayed and put off and postponed again, but it's finally supposed to get started this week.